Welcome back, this is episode number 9 of this tutorial series on Raspberry Pi for complete beginners. You can find the series playlist link in the description. And let's get started. Now that the hardware setup for the push button is finished, let's see how we can actually get some value from this button to know if the button is priced or if the button is not priced inside the Python code. So first of all, I'm going to do import rpi.gpio as gpio, okay, as usual. We are also going to import the time module because we're going to need it. I'm going to do gpio.set mode with gpio.bcm, okay, that doesn't change. And finally, at the end, I'm going to do gpio.cleanup. So for now, quite classic code. And now I'm going to create a variable to store the button pin. So let's simply call it button pin. And this will be GPIO number 26. Okay, and why uppercase? Because, well, you can use lowercase variables that you will change later, and you can use uppercase variables to kind of say to yourself later on, don't change that variable, okay? Of course, you are able to change it at any time, but you use the uppercase. It's kind of a convention with Python that this is a variable you will not change in the future. So I have my button pin 26, okay, for the GPIO 26. Now I'm going to do gpio.setup button pin. So just like we did with the LED pin, but then instead of doing gpio.output, I'm going to do gpio.input. So just in. So now the button is set as an input. So we are going to read from that button. And to read from the button is simple. With LED, you used gpio.output. Here you are going to use gpio.input. And put, of course, the pin. So button. In. So you only have one parameter, here is the name of the pin. And this pin should have been set as gpio.in previously, so you can use that. So here, this re return high or low, and if you want to actually see the result on the shell here, you are going to need to print high or low here. So let's print that, so let's just run the script. And let's name it push button. Okay, and you can see zero. So sometimes when you print high or low, it will be printed as zero. So now, if I press the button and if I run the script again, you can see now we have the value one. Okay, I remove anything so the button is not pressed anymore and now you can see zero. So as you can see, it's quite easy to read the value from a push button. And now what we can do, for example, to improve that code, we could do while true, print the button every second. So you are going to do time dot sleep with what. So every second you are going to print the value from the button. So I can see zero, zero, and then I press the button, one, okay. And if I remove my finger from the button, it comes back to zero. Well, so as you can see, once you have understood how to power on an LED with the rpi.gpio library, well, it's quite easy to handle a push button, okay? You just need to do gpio.setup with gpio.in, instead of out, okay, for input GPIOs. And then you simply have GPIO.input with the number of the pin. So you can read that and you can process it in your code or you can just print it like we did here. All right, that's the end of this episode. If you found it useful, you will definitely like my full complete course on Raspberry Pi named Raspberry Pi for Beginners. This course contains 10 hours of hands-on video lessons. You can find the link in the description. Thank you for watching, see you in the course or in the next tutorial of the series.